yes, exercise still makes me feel, um, it gives you newness of life. And it makes you want to do more, not just physically, but mentally as well. Exercise has a great advantage if you have mental troubles. Welcome to the show. Today we are back in lovely Sedgefield and we're back with Sue who's at the Parish Hall. She's got some great movements for us today that are all about the back so it can help with everything from reaching up to the top shelf to picking up the grandkids. Today I want to do just a couple of little mobility moves. If you've been sitting for a long time and you're a bit tense and tight that some little moves that hopefully will make moving around for the rest of the day a lot easier and more comfortable for you. So the first move is with feet hip width apart. I'm just going to ask you to just have a little shrug and a roll back through the shoulders. So we're just going to lift the shoulders and just send that back and down. And just a couple more of these before we go into any other movements, just releasing through the spine, releasing through the shoulders, any tightness that you might feel. Tight around the neck or shoulders and neck here. <laughs> We're just going to try and release that off. So just maybe doing that one more time. And then again, we're sitting tall or we're standing with one hand, just hold the side of the chair. The other hand then is going to be free just to have a reach down to the side and then come back up. Grab the chair with that hand. Other hand just reaches down to the side and then come back up. And again. So we're just going from side to side as if there's something on the floor that you're trying to pick up and then you come back and sit tall. I'm holding onto the chair just to make sure that we're not lifting the hips. Your bottom stays on that chair so you feel nice and secure with the movement. And again, we can stay in the chair as you can see from behind that some of the ladies can do this standing up. If you feel happy with that, by all means come to standing and then back up. And again, I think we can do one more to each side. So if you can just reach down to the side and then back up and one more time. And then come back up again, brilliant. So my next move is again, just to mobilize, release any tension you might feel in the body, is to take it into a little spine twist. So for this one, you make sure you're sitting forward on the chair. And I'm going to, again, hold the side of the chair so we're nice and secure. My other arm can just come to the outside of the knee. I then want to lift up, so I'm sitting as tall as I can, and just have a look over your shoulder. Brilliant. And then slowly come back to centre. Let's do that to the other side, so hand comes across. Lengthen and have a little look over your shoulder. And then come back to centre. Can we keep this going from side to side, having a look over the shoulder and slowly come back to centre. Looking over the shoulder and slowly come back to centre. And again, have a little twist, look round. Lifting, have a look over your shoulder. Standing or sitting as tall as you can. Have a look over, brilliant. And then come back to centre. And then from here, I'm just going to pop my hands onto my knees and I'm just going to have a little tuck under and round the spine. And then I'm going to sit tall and lengthen. So we're just going to have a little curve into the spine. And sometimes this feels nice if your back is a little bit stiff, or a little bit sore from sitting for a long time. We just have a tuck under and then come up and maybe if we can do that just one more time. So just tucking under, a little round in the spine, lovely. And then lengthen back up and just set those shoulders back and down. I hope you enjoyed those movements there with Sue and the team. Do not forget to tune back in again tomorrow. We'll see you then.